welcome to explore embedded in this tutorial we will discuss programming of the 8051 microcontroller in c before we do that we will discuss uh, why we should write it in c or assembly or any other languages so we'll compare assembly versus c and then we'll see uh, the data types that are used in in uh, programming of 8051 in C. So we'll look at the uh, data types as well and after we do that we will look at the logical operations and the bitwise operations in C. So let us go ahead and uh, see how we write the, write the code and how it is converted to assembly or C. So whenever we write a piece of code, so uh, say this is the code we write. So, Alright, so uh, the code we write, uh, let's say we write it in C. So it is in turn compiled into assembly and then a hex file is generated. So we have uh, so this is a C file. So we have a compiler here, and then this is called as the assembler. This is the hex file that is stored on the controller's flash or the ROM. So this is what goes inside the controller. Now. As you see here, assembly is a group of hex codes and uh, several assembly instructions are combined to make C constructs. So C constructs like the loop statements, the control statements are all derived from the assembly language. Now since uh, C, since the C instructions are a group of assembly instructions, the C code is always uh, larger than the corresponding assembly code for an application. So uh, we'll have this picture on back of our mind and see, uh, and we'll compare the instructions. So now. We'll compare the uh, languages now. Say this is assembly, and we write uh, the code in C. So, in assembly, since it's very near to the hardware, uh, the code length is the smallest. So, the hex file that we generate is the smallest. So, uh, and the hex file. Uh, when we generate and when we write a C code and then generate a hex file, uh, this process is done by a compiler and it could lead to a relatively larger uh, hex file. So it again depends on the compiler uh, that is used. Now, uh, the code that is written in assembly directly in assembly language it is always the fastest to execute and when we uh, write it in C it again depends on compiler and it's relatively slow now these are I mean the disadvantages of C but the biggest advantage of C is uh, since the language is uh, modular and uh, it is very simple to write 
C code. So it's very uh, simple to write programs. So uh, since assembly instructions are specific to a particular controller or a microprocessor, uh, every time you write a code in assembly, you need to learn a new assembly language. Uh, so it, writing in assembly, it's uh, relatively difficult. And one more thing is the portability. If you write C code uh, for a particular controller or processor, it can be ported to a different controller or processor. So that is not the case with assembly. If you write something in assembly, it will be hard to port it to a different controller. Now, there is one more advantage writing in C. So the one more advantage writing in C is uh, the program is readable and uh, it can be easily debugged. So um, in assembly, uh, though the program is readable, it's very hard uh, to debug. So this is a disadvantage. So the advantage of writing uh, in basically assembly uh, are the programs of are smaller in size and they are faster but uh, if you write it in C then uh, the programs writing programs is simpler and debugging is easier also the codes written in C can be easily uh, transferred to a different controller or a di different processor all right so we'll go ahead and see see and now see the logical operations or uh, before we do that we'll go ahead and see the data types uh, that are used when writing code in C uh, particularly on the 8051 so since we have limited amount of memory on the 8051 controller so we know that we have a flash of about 4 kilobytes on a generic 8051 so uh, the flash memory is very important and we need to conserve it for bigger applications so the data types play an important role uh, while writing c code so the basic data types uh, when we write a c code are so uh, we use unsigned care as the default data type for declaring variables and uh, and even accessing the registers of the controller we do that because uh, unsigned care uh, the length is 8 bits and so the range is from 0 to 255 so we do this because uh, 8051 is a 8 bit processor or a 8 bit microcontroller which handles data in chunks of 8 bits so uh, if we use uh, data types like int or long int or float then uh, the controller will have to handle it in by making uh, by making the data type into 8 bits so it has to split the uh, longer data types into 8 bits and that will consume a lot of memory so we need to be careful when we assign or declare variables so the next data type that is usually used is the char so uh, char is basically uh, again 8 bits uh, but the range is uh, it's uh, for any of these uh, where we have to consider negative and positive uh, the generic formula would be minus 2 to the power n minus 1 to plus 2 to the power n minus 1 minus 1 so so in this case since it's 8 bit so it would be 2 to the power 8 minus 1 is 7 so it would be minus uh, it's, so it would be minus 2 to the power 7 which is 128 so this would be minus 128 to this would be again to the power 7 would be 128 minus 1 it would be 127 so this is the range for the uh, character so uh, the one more data type that we use now again so whenever you're using counters or timers 
we need to be careful when we declare variables as uh, unsigned char or char because the range just goes from 0 to 255 so this is the maximum range that we have so if the variables are running out of 255 you need larger uh, variable or larger data storage unit so in that case we use uh, unsigned int as another type so in unsigned int uh, for the age 051 it's 16 bit so the range is from 0 to 2 to the power 16 so that is 65535 so it is basically 0 to 2 to the power 16 minus 1 similarly we have assigned int or simply int so again its range is 16 bit and as we did for the char the range is uh, minus 32768 to 32767 so this is the range for the integer so these are four uh, basic data types that are used when programming C so uh, so this is similar to the generic C we write so there are again two more types or three more types which are specific to C there is a data type called S bit so this S bit is of size 1 bit and it is used to access the bits in special function registers or bits in all the registers so uh, registers for example port a b uh, and uh, sorry, sorry, uh, sorry port 0 port 1 uh, and the other registers so there is one more data type called bit and it is used to again this is of one bit size and this is used to access access the uh, RAM locations which are bit addressable so when we discussed about the RAM so we say we said that uh, there is a 16 byte bit addressable memory and uh, whenever you're using that particular memory we use the bit data type there is one more uh, data type which is called the SFR and the SFR it's uh, it is again of size so SFR is again 8 bits in size and this is used to access uh, the SFR resistors so uh, again the ports Z port 0 1 2 3 they these are special function resistors apart from that uh, the various other resistors uh, these can be ex accessed with the SFR data type Alright, so we'll be using all these data types uh, when, we, when we'll be programming the 8051 in C. So, uh, moving ahead, we'll see some of the logical and uh, the bitwise operators that are frequently used in programming of the 8051 or any other embedded system in general. So, in this session, we'll see the logical operators uh, that are used while programming so the logical operators basically uh, they are the same the same in the general c programming language that are used so so the basic logical operators are uh, the and the or and the not so uh, so this AND operator it is use, used to decide between uh, two logical uh, things so uh, the result is always uh, one or zero for all the uh, logical operators now uh, this this is R uh, so uh, say we have uh, say we have two balloons so uh, one is this blue one and the other is the red one so 
so when we do a and operation on these two so uh, it means that i mean as if a condition has to be true it means uh, both blue and the red balloon should be present so uh, so this is the and operator for the or operator uh, for this to be true it could be either a blue balloon or a red balloon so the not is the simple inversion operator which turns uh, 0 into 1 and 1 into 0 so these are all familiar uh, c logical operators so similarly uh, when we write embedded c there are bitwise operators so this bitwise operators and they instead of uh, operating on uh, character or integer and data types they operate on individual bits so uh, for instance say uh, we have a 8 bit value or we have a byte so uh, say we have a byte 0x 0a so this is the hex notation and in binary it would be four zeros followed by one zero one zero so this is uh, the binary so and we have say uh, one more uh, byte which is 0x5 so this 5 would be 0 0 0 followed by 0 1 0 1 so so when we do a bitwise operation it operates on a particular bit so it will operate on individual bits of this uh, particular operand and the result would be again a byte so say for instance we do uh, uh, so now so there there are uh, three types of or four types of bitwise operators and uh, these are this is the AND operator, so this will do a bitwise AND. This is a OR operator, this will do a bitwise OR. And this is bitwise NOR operator. And the bitwise NOT is the tilt sign. So basically, this is our AND, this is OR, this is NOR, and this is the not or the inversion operator now as we know the function of and so let's do a simple example here let us and the two values so if we and um, the byte a and the byte phi so let's see what what we get so this is zero this is zero this is zero this is zero and zero ended with zero is all zeros so these these are and the bitwise operators in C. Similarly, we can perform a OR, a NOR, and a NOT operation. So these will be widely used when we will be uh, blinking LEDs or reading switches and a whole lot of operations. So, uh, so in this topic, uh, to review back, so what we have covered is um, assembly versus C. Then we have covered the basic data types of uh, while that are used while writing. Uh, C code for the 8051 and then we have discussed the logical and the bitwise operators. In the next tutorial, we will set up the tools and write our first uh, program and uh, we will interface uh, LEDs and we will blink them and check. So thank you for watching.